case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a groundbreaking 2012 hearing the supreme court found that if defense attorneys failed to communicate all plea offers to their clients they could be charged with ineffective assistance of counsel this decision followed a case centered on galen fry who claimed his lawyer neglected to inform him of a more favorable plea offer while negotiating a plea bargain for a charge of driving with a revoked license. In August 2007, Fry was charged with the offense, and by November, the prosecutor had presented two plea offers. Tragically, Fry's lawyer neglected to inform him of these opportunities, leading to the dismissal of these offers and setting the stage for a pivotal legal battle. After Fry contended his lawyer's performance was deficient, the case was heard in the Missouri Court of Appeals, which upheld Fry's argument. However, the case didn't end there. The Supreme Court revised the earlier ruling and concluded that for a defendant to prove prejudice resulting from ineffective counsel, they must establish that they would have accepted the earlier plea offer if they had received effective legal help. The High Court then vacated the judgment of the Missouri Court of Appeals and remanded the case back to them, left to examine crucial state law issues, including the defendant's commitment to the lapsed plea agreement. The Supreme Court's strategic ruling shed light on attorney-client duty, enhancing standards for legal representation nationwide. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.